Good morning. So two things I'd like to look at this morning. First of all, we know that Watchtower's governing body believes that they're going to go to heaven and take part in destroying the wicked. We know that Tony Morris is looking forward to this. Is that what is going to happen? And secondly, if people go to heaven, do they become angels? We know that religions have taught this for centuries, that you die, you go to heaven, you become an angel. Is that so? Now, these two things are connected, and I'll explain how. But in order to answer these questions, I need to look at what angels are. They were directly created by God through Jesus. And they were created long before the earth, long before there was any life here. So there are many ranks of angels. There's Michael the archangel. There are cherubs who turn up in the Garden of Eden, but they're throughout the whole of the scriptures. Then the seraphim are mentioned in Isaiah chapter 6 and verses 1 to 6. And then you have the angels. Now the angels are messengers, but they also execute God's judgment. For example, two angels were involved in destroying Sodom and Gomorrah, and one angel destroyed 185,000 Assyrians in order to save the Israelites. So they execute God's judgments. Now, those who die and go to heaven, do they become angels? In 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 41, 42, sorry, the Apostle Paul is talking about the resurrection of the dead. And he said, what is sown is perishable. The human body is put into the grave, perishes, goes back to dust, but it's raised imperishable. In verse 44, it's sown a physical body, it's raised a spiritual body. So it seems that these ones go to heaven, they're still the same people they ever were, but they've simply got a spiritual body. Now there's no mention here of them becoming angels, and that seems to make sense because the angels have already been created by God and there are millions of them. This is a new creation according to Paul in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Now, there's more to the new creation than simply going to heaven, of course. So this is quite a nice thought, really, because when Jesus was on earth, his best friends were his apostles, James, Peter, John, and so on. So they go to heaven as themselves, but they simply have a spiritual body. So it's a nice thought that Jesus has his friends around him. But do they get involved in destroying the wicked? Matthew chapter 13, and Jesus here is explaining the parable of the weeds and the wheat, and he's talking about the harvest of the earth, and he says in verse 41, the Son of Man will send his angels, and they will gather out of his kingdom all causes of sin and all lawbreakers, and will throw them into the fiery furnace. Then again, in Revelation chapter 14, Here again, you might like to read verses 14 to 20, but in verse 19 again, it's talking about the harvest of the earth. And it says, so the angel swung his sickle across the earth, gathered the grape harvest of the earth, threw it into the great winepress of the wrath of God. The angels are the ones who are involved in executing God's judgments. Now, those who go to heaven are not described as angels, but they are described as kings and priests. And it seems that their role is more to do with applying the sacrifice of Jesus Christ to all humanity, to help Jesus put an end to death and sickness and all these horrible things. As it says in Revelation 21, God is making all things new. So, this is fairly radical, but tell me what you think. And if you have any comments, any thoughts, I'd be delighted to hear. Any comments are much appreciated. Thank you so much, and God bless you all.